All right, All right let's touch gloves. I expect a good, clean fight. Let's go. Just a couple of thousand fans here at most, but this is to let the world know that it's for business. We're joined now at ringside by Roy Jones Jr., our expert commentator. But the problem for him is that he's fighting a seasoned fighter who's been fighting since he's about 15 years old. That's always a tough... Hanks is indeed a slick, sophisticated boxer. But in his nine fights as a heavyweight, 25 or 30 punches per round. And guys who have not shown much activity have gone away. He's got to fight. And he's in a fight in a case tonight. He has to fight because Seth has the title. If he wants to win, he has to go at Seth a little bit more. The NBO or something like oh, that. Oh, that important fight. <laughs> Banks, that is. Oh, there he is. Right hand over top by Mitchell, and Banks grabs and holds immediately. Be schooled. Or is he the big kid in the schoolyard you don't want to mess with? Banks grab and holds again after another right hand. Fight early. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Stop, stop, stop it, stop it. Let him go. We asked stop. Mitchell what he'd been working on. The later round because he's a more experienced fighter. Seth is throwing some really good punches at him right now. But if he can avoid Stamina has barely been tested in the professional ranks. He went against the distance, eight rounds. That's the longest he's been in the ring. Good left hook go, inside go, by go, Mitchell. Go, go, go. Lands a couple of uppercuts while Banks tries to hold on. Right? Keep a speed jab in his face. And don't fall in on the shot because he's going to grab you every time you fall in. You understand me? All right. Begin away no rounds. Take it up. Copy box numbers in round one. Mitchell was 15 of 52. Banks. Banks gets in a jab. Banks is trying to lay track. Now he can land the right hand. Right, stop, 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 right stop, 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 stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Easy. Stop it. He has to try to extend this fight. He doesn't want to get into a trading war or a wheel of power here because he's definitely the smaller guy. And crowd oohed odd over that. There's the kind of mistake that Larry Merchant was talking about. That's a perfect example of the kind Six. of track you were talking about. Seven. We have over a minute left in the round. And now he holds on. He did not go down in the last fight. This time, he's been down. And he's in bad trouble now. First knockdown of Seth Mitchell's career. Jonathan Becks, an inspired performance. Looks like his head is cleared a little bit. Nope. Got ripped again on a straight right hand. Oh, oh. just missed with a huge right hand. In the next week. Good body shots. Two of them by Mitchell. That's a good way to stabilize. Oh, you heard of Another again. big shot by Banks. Oh, you heard of right again. He's heard of again. again. Show me something. You're going to see something. Mitchell has Banks finish him right here. Yeah, I don't think you heard that. As Banks tries to get the third knockdown of the round. And that's it. The fight is also has been knocked out by Jonathan Banks. Upset. Stewart Magic. The point, Larry, in round one, that Banks was trying to set traps for Mitchell. He got he him. chopping at the bits for a guy who was a late starter. You know he saw something he in came the Detroit and commemorated the loss of his mentor, Annual Stewart, who came here where nobody thought he could do this and so, knocked out Seth. Uh, Jonathan Banks on the attack. He caught him with a good right hook that hurt him in the beginning. To them, but right here, you see the knockdown with overhand right, right there on the chin, and down went. Crowd was shocked. The knockdown too. There was another overhand right to Joe, followed by a hook, and another. And that was another straight right hand that grazed him, but he was already hurt at that point. And he also he saw, and that let him know that he had a great chance against that. So did we see another American? Trains Vladimir Klitschko. <laughs> <laughs> but what an amazing eight days. Banks, who came, came to Detroit and commemorated the loss of his mentor, Emmanuel Stewart, who came here where nobody thought he could do this and so, knocked out Seth. Uh, Justin Banks on the attack. He caught him with a good right hook. I heard him in the beginning. Uh, to them, but right here he's... You see the knockdown was an overhand right, right there on the chin, and down went. Crowd was shocked. The knockdown, too. There's another overhand right to the jaw, followed by a hook, and another. And that was another straight right hand that grazed him, but he already hurt at that point. And he also pulled. Obviously, the skilled veteran knew what to do and went after Mitchell with a perfect fusillade of power shots that came to Detroit and commemorated the loss of his mentor, Emmanuel Stewart, who came here where nobody thought he could do this and knocked out Seth. Uh, Jonathan Banks on the attack. He caught him with a good right hook that hurt him in the beginning. Uh, to them, but he's, you see the knockdown was an overhand right, right on the chin, and down went. Crowd was shocked. Down two, there was another overhand right to the jaw, followed by a hook, and another right. 
And that was another straight right hand that Gray, but he was already hurt at that point. And he also pulled and land the shot first, he could cause problems. So he gambled and he won the gamble tonight. Like to separate this from the emotional aura of what we're dealing with here. Emmanuel Stoops fighter. Well, I guess he has to ask to fight Vitaly then. <laughs> he does not train Vitaly Klitschko. Michael Burr has a small smile on his face. I know why. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes came to Detroit and commemorated the loss of his mentor, Emmanuel Stewart, who came here where nobody thought he could do this and knocked out Seth. Uh, Jonathan Banks on the attack. He caught a good right hook that hurt him in the beginning. Uh, him, but he's... You see the knockdown was an overhand right, right on the chin and down went. Crowd was shocked. Knockdown two, there was another overhand right to the jaw, followed by hook, and another right. And that was another straight right hand that gave him, but he was already hurt at that point. And he also To pulled. separate this from the emotional aura of what we're dealing with here. Emmanuel Stewart's fighter. Well, I guess he has to ask to fight Vitaly then. <laughs> he does not train Vitaly Klitschko. <laughs> Mr. Banks, Jonathan Banks. Who came to Detroit and commemorated the loss of his mentor, Emmanuel Stewart, who came here where nobody thought he could do this and so, knocked out seven. Uh, Jonathan Banks on the attack. He caught him with a good right hook that hurt him in the beginning. Mr. Dan, but right here he's... You see the knockdown was an overhand right, right there on the chin, and down went. Crowd was shocked. The knockdown two, there was another overhand right to the jaw, followed by a hook, and another right. And that was another straight right hand that grazed him, but he was already hurt at that point. And he also To pulled. separate this from the emotional aura of what we're dealing with here, Emmanuel Stewart's fighter.